the best part of Bharti matrimony and Gujarati matrimony was that in my profile I had written the slogan or motto of my life that simple living and high thinking and I was very surprised and evenly happy to see that in her profile also the same words were quoted that simple living and high thinking is the motto of my life and I felt that if the slogan of life matches then we are the right pair for each other. I would just like to advise them that uh, once you are in, in search of a life partner, uh, put um, be open to all the proposals that come in. Try and contact and know the person well before you uh, go on for a personal meeting. And then if the personal meeting is satisfactory or good or average or whatever, then you could further uh, go ahead with your decision to marry the person or not. To be very precise, what I feel is that in case of uh, marriages through internet, it is very necessary to check the genuineness or the credentials of the p person, like the bride or the groom, whatever the case may be, because it may so happen that the person might have written something at the bi on the biodata, and whatever is in reality is very much different as compared to what is written. So that is the only case. You can meet a suitable person, but then you need to test the genuineness of that person. That is my only advice. Well, Rupal and Prithvi appear to be quite happy with each other as life partners and are very grateful to Bharat Matrimony, who helped them find the perfect soulmate in each other. So, we wish them all the luck in life. That's it for now. Until next time, this is your Ned Trophy Ritu signing off. Goodbye and do take care of yourselves.